everyone. This is Master Yoon Sang Ha of Keys Taekwondo in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Today, I'd like to share with you a DIY training apparatus to help my students, as well as other martial artists who are leading by example and practicing good self-defense by staying home during this COVID-19 crisis. What I've taken here is a chest protector or hobu and tied it around a sleeping bag. Okay. Shout out to Master Nick Cheng, master instructor of our Vancouver and Richmond locations, who came up with a similar concept using some pillows. Okay. Another option is to use seat cushions or throw pillows, okay? but kids, make sure to ask for your parents' permission, and that goes for us guys too. Make sure to get the wife's permission. Now that you have this, you may be asking yourself, well, what do I do with it now? Glad you asked. If you have someone to hold it, it works well as a substitute for a kicking paddle. Okay? It also offers a slightly different feel than a regular kicking paddle, so it's a nice complement to having a kicking paddle as well. Okay, well, you say you don't have anyone to hold it for you? No problem. As is, you can place it on the ground okay, and use it as a visual aid to practice uh, kicking accuracy and proper foot shaping and positioning for some of the basic kicks. Okay, so I can set it on the ground. I'll have it facing me. So you start on your side, top leg up, toes pulled back for your basically you're in that chamber position for a turning kick or roundhouse kick or tolo chucky. So again, keep the knee pointed, pointing to the side, leg tucked back, and you can basically just extend the leg out and coming back and focusing on keeping the knee stationary. So you're just working on that, on that extension and recoil and making sure that we've got that proper foot position. So we're pulling the toes back on there. So it's the instep that's actually come, coming in on there. Okay. And have it facing you. Okay. Again, the top leg. Now you're actually going to drop that top, that knee to the ground, pull the toes back. So now we've got that chamber for that side kick position, right? So that way you can e extend the leg out, right? And that way then you're again focusing on the foot position and shaping for that side kick. So those toes are pulled back, and that way you're kicking with that either the the heel or the edge of, edge or blade of the foot. So again, making sure to check that the knees don't turn up and the toes are pointing up, but those toes are going to stay down and pulled back. So that way we're focusing on thrusting, driving straight out and having that proper foot position. Okay. So now you have it on the ground. And now for your hook kick, you start behind almost that same position. Now you're going to focus on extending the leg and sweeping it out over the chest protector. So that way you're kind of over exaggerating or well, you're over exaggerating it, but you're focusing again on extending and going through. So that way you're visualizing that your targets at 12 o'clock and you're extending and driving through 12, 12 o'clock. Okay. So that way it will help eliminate kind of dropping off where it turned, where it looks more like an ax kick than, than a hook kick or where we're not actually using the hip and we're just kind of getting that upward upward motion that sometimes we can do. So we want to make sure that we're focused on extending, sweeping out over and coming back on there. Okay. Now I can also grab a chair, place it, place it on a chair. Okay. Go on, go on my knees, have my kicking leg, tuck that in closer to my body, looking over my shoulder. I can extend the leg out. So now I'm practicing my backside kicks or back kicks. Same thing. So you can focus on the driving, driving that foot out. So you're focusing on the path of the kick, but again, focusing on that foot shaping. So you're getting that proper foot positioning on that, on that kick. Okay. So now, now for a next level hack, wait for it. I can grab a foam, a foam safety sword or a padded or a padded stick. Okay. And now by having this, now I can actually practice some self-defense techniques, right? So any of your self-defense sequences, you can actually practice it. So now that you've got basically a visual, a visual reference, right? 
for striking on the proper on the proper target line. Okay. You can also use it for some shadow sparring, either as a warm up or part of your uh, regular regular workout. Right. So that way, at least, right, right. That way we can basically focus on, right. That way you can focus on a little bit of shadow shadow sparring there. Now here's the ultimate hack. Okay, you can add two more foam safety swords or a long pull noodle, and now the possibilities are, are endless. Okay, so I actually can have three separate three separate stations, right? One person here, one person here. You can even have a third person here. Okay, so that way you can actually work out work out with your family. Okay, but you can actually have three stations. Okay, and now with this. A couple different things I can do, right? So I can use it just as a visual reference. So, so rather than just practicing the kicks in the air, at least you have something to kind of aim for, right? I can also focus on just the balance and the extension and, and chamber of the leg, right? So that way, focusing on just that front kick, right? Focusing on making the contact with the instep and cha chambering the leg and focusing on the balance, balance as well. Okay. Same thing with the turn kick. I can do the same thing with, with the turn kick, right? So again, I can bring that leg up, extend out. So that way, again, you're focusing on, on getting the accuracy on, on the height, but again, focusing on getting that, that extension out. Okay. Good. So now for my side kicks, I can actually use it to help me focus on the recoil and the chamber of my kick. Okay, so by focusing on kicking over it, I can focus on making sure I'm kicking, but making sure I'm getting that proper chamber rather than just kicking and flopping that leg down, right? So that way, again, you can focus on kicking out, chambering it back, and then coming down on that, okay? The other thing, now we can actually do some we can do some more multiple kicks, right? So that way I can take my front kick, turn it over, then go to that roundhouse, front kick, turn it over, then go to go to that roundhouse, okay? We can add it, so that way we can do that, uh, that front kick, turn kick, and then adding the hook kick on it, okay? So again, your imagination is your only limitation. So there you have it. Again, my name is Master Yoon Sang Hong of Keys Taekwondo, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you've been able to find it useful in some way. If that's the case, please give the video a thumbs up. Until next time, use your imagination, have some fun, and bye for now.